I was into the idea of uh, two personalities in one body, both in love with the same person, and the conflict that that would, would be in. Uh, I like messy relationships. They're fun to work through. The basic premise is the world's been invaded body snatcher style, but rather than being about the fear of that invasion and fighting against it, it's already over. Um, and the world has become fairly utopian. Um, these new entities who call themselves the souls are a very peaceful, harmonious, uh, homogenous group. And they're able to fix things. The world is, there's no more hunger, there's no more disease and fear and violence and everybody takes care of everybody. And, you know, it's down to the little things like being able to leave the keys in your car and never lock anything again. And never having to be afraid as you walk down the street that the stranger coming towards you might mean you harm because it just doesn't exist anymore. And then set into that world, you have the few handful of humans left who obviously can't see the... Uh, beauty in that utopia because it's all been taken away from them and they've lost everyone that's important to them. And I, I liked telling the story from, a, uh, from the perspective of one of the aliens, which is rarely the way we look at it. When we have invasion stories, we look at it from our perspective and I preferred looking at it from, from Wanda's. Uh, she has so much confusion, you know, she becomes an alien in her world with her people and not fitting in there. and being drawn by this immense love that her, the former tenant of the body had for her family um, to go and seek them out, uh, which takes her on a journey that she was not expecting and puts her in an awful lot of danger. Melanie is one of the uh, later captures uh, in this world because most everyone has already uh, become one of the souls. Children being born are immediately changed to souls. Um, there really aren't grown humans around anymore, so she's a little bit of an event in their community that they found a surviving human. Um, and of course, we have a one seeker in particular who becomes fixated on understanding where she's come from and how she's escaped for so long and where are the rest of the humans. We really need an actress who can do anything because we need someone who can do these two characters and sell them both, um, which she's been doing every day really well. She's a great Wanda. You know, she has, you, know, you watch her in Hannah, where she's a very good Melanie. You know, she's all action and she's tough. She's so tough. And yet she can bring that peaceful soul side so well. And just, she just has this amazing, like, calm and, and kindness that kind of radiates out from her. She's really amazing. Jake was kind of my pick. I've always loved him as an actor. And I always, you know, usually plays the bad guy. And, but he steals the scene. And you watch him when you're, instead of the people you're supposed to be watching. And uh, that is something, a quality that Saoirse has as well. And one of the things we talked about was, how are we gonna get guys on the screen that we are gonna look at instead of Saoirse? That's our challenge. You know, people that can divert our attention even a little bit from what she's doing. Um, and, and Jake has that, that quality and that presence. Um, and I love that, that he, he really does have the ability, I feel like, to be a, a really strong leading man. Andrew said, you got to watch this guy, Max. And I'm like, okay, cool. And, you know, the chemistry with him and Saoirse was just unbelievable. Um, and he's very expressive. I mean, he's just able to do so much without saying a word. Kyle in my head is about, you know, six foot seven and black haired and just this real, this beast of a guy, you know, very scary. Um, and Boyd, you know, is blonde, which threw me a little bit at the beginning. Uh, but he's scary. You know, he has this intensity about him that takes away all the need for the rest of any, you know, any of that visual that I had. Um, because you be honestly believe that he will, he's willing and able to kill whoever he decides he wants to kill. Uh, which is perfect for that character. Um, and then Boyd's also lovely to work with, which is great. We also have Diane as our seeker. Uh, who's kind of, it's sad she's kind of outside of this whole other group and all of the development. She's that outside force that keeps coming at them. And um, she's, she's great at being really pleasantly terrifying. You know, she's just so, she's, she has to be a soul. But at the same time, there's that intensity underneath what she's doing, where she's just becoming so obsessed with, with this problem. Um, and she and Saoirse are pretty great together. 
you know, because Diane just can do this icy thing, but at the same time covered up with like that warm, oh, how are you? It's, it's great. She's, she's been a lot of fun and very good at being the seeker. <laughs> Working with Andrew um, has been really great personally and then watching what he does with the story is a lot of fun because he is so much more visual than I am. Like I really like to delve into uh, the words and how people interact and how they cover up what they want to say and how they say what they want to say and, and all of that. Um, and I, for me, the visual of it while I was writing it, aside from the caves, which was sort of their own invention that were really fun, but the world looked very similar to what I already knew. Um, and Andrew's brought in all these little elements, uh, the way the souls dress, the look of their world, um, even the way their eyes react, and, uh, and it makes, takes it to a different level.